Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we got our new series started featuring my new tropical archipelago themed map. I kind of went over the map a little bit, uh, reviewed all the cities and industries that are available here, and got our first new line started. And to that end, we got a passenger road line set up between Los Santos, Mos Eisley, and New Vegas. So that's running. Got the, the steam wagons on there. Went with the cheaper option. And then we began working on our first rail network, which we're kind of doing the normal thing that I typically do. We're doing tram loops and we're going to do passenger rail. And this time I'm doing the tram loops a little bit different with, you know, opposing, you know, two opposing loops. Well, the same loop, but with two opposing routes so that we can transport passengers in both directions. It probably means that um, it will kind of hurt the profitability of those lines, but should hopefully get more passengers more efficiently into the rail uh, line, which is really where the money is going to get made anyway. So that should hopefully work. So that's what we're going to continue working on it here. We're going to build out this line, get a train on it, and... Um, Yeah, I gotta remember to actually unpause a little bit before I start recording. Just to let the game load through. Alright, so, first order of business is to get a new... Actually, I probably do want to have it paused because all we're going to end up doing is losing money. $2.7 billion in map creation costs. All right, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come in to this side of City 17. And what I'm actually going to probably want to do is loop this around and bring it onto the coast, come into a station here at Kazam. Um, I might have to rework this road a little bit, but that's fine. Because ultimately what I think we're going to be doing is we're going to making a hub out of Kazam. One of the route is going to head over to Armali and out to Inaba over here, but we're going to have another line that's going to come out of here and head to Gotham City and over potentially to Denerim, because I think we could probably get um, a decent bridge here and and here. Because um, those, those spans would not be ridiculous. I think. But, you know, that's... As for the future, first thing we need to do is get profitable. And that is, you know, can be a little bit tricky at the start. But once you do get rolling, it, it is fairly easy to snowball. But getting that rolling without going bankrupt, that's kind of where the trick comes in. And I'm thinking we're going to have to knock this little piece of road out. And probably both of those buildings. If you go to Mont, track ladders, crossovers. I probably won't really won't have to use a lot of these, but you know, it's nice to have this kind of stuff there just in case something bites me hard, which can tend to happen sometimes. Now, do I want to do 160 meter stations? I did a 160 meter station there. Do I want to go with a longer station? I think it might be worth having the longer station, actually. We can always upgrade that other station and rework the roads a little bit, but since I have the opportunity right now, To, uh, to get the station in with the longer platforms. I'll do it.
All right, so there's our station. Not going to bother with the earthworks to smooth things out just yet because it's kind of a luxury item at this point. Um, and Kazam. Yep, I'm aware that the main connection will be interrupted if I do that. What we're going to probably do is tear this all the way back to there. Hmm. Now, do I want to do a curb station here? I'm not so sure. Let's see. We're going to be coming in like this. Right. Oh, we're probably going to be coming in along. I have to cross over that road. Uh, we're going to be coming along here and swooping in like this. So. No, I'm going to keep a straight station. We keep a straight station. I don't think I need a curve station here just yet. And those curve stations can be a little bit difficult to work with. So they're nice when uh, when you need them. All right, there we are. I think for the time being, probably really didn't need to put in double track stations, but all right. All right, what track do we have available? We have 140 kilometers per hour. We don't, we're not going to have any train that's that fast in fact, why don't I get my depot in? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put my depot in. Over here. How does that look? Uh, not the best. I can get that refunded. That's fine. Let's see. That look better? Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right. So, if we go in here and we look at our vehicles. Locomotives. There's no electric or diesel. We have steam. Please remove this mod. Okay. LMS Streamliners. All right. Well, apparently I need to remove that mod. Mod causes a collision with new LMS bonds. Please remove. Okay. I'll have to remember to do that. All right. But let's see. Fastest trains we got. We're on six. We're on miles per hour. What I should probably do is change the. Um, change the units. We're talking 60 miles an hour is the fastest. We have a 75 mile an hour train here, the Atlantic. But conceivably, what train am I actually gonna, gonna buy? I mean, nothing too expensive, right? 
mean, we're not going to be doing 60 miles an hour. And I'm not spending 3 million, 3.7 million on a locomotive. 1.4 is not bad. 47 miles an hour. So we're talking like 50. So 60 miles an hour. So that's what, 100 kph? All right. So, 100. We can always upgrade them later. All right. Let's see. If we just do a straight shot, what are we looking at? One hundred seventy-seven thousand. We have a bridge. We have a bridge. We have a long bridge. Okay. Well, what if I were to? Do something like that. Three hundred grand. All right. For now, what I'll do is I'll slide in the double track. We'll do this. Um, I clicked the wrong button. Must have. Yeah, build that in. Make that double slipped. Right, so that can go like this. Uh, actually. And can I? Because really, no, 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 that's right. For a minute there, I was thinking, did I put that in there green correctly? No, 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 it's in there right. So the train coming this way will then be able to shift across over there to go this way. All right. Cool. All right, so then out of here, we're gonna want a relatively sharp turn. Yeah, drop it in. Relatively cheap. There we go. Bridges. We're talking about 400 grand.
That doesn't seem to be working. Let's see if we can follow, follow the contours a little bit. Uh, for this. Come up the hill, come down the hill. Rather than gouging out a whole bunch of earthworks there. And then swing around here. That appears to be the cheapest I can do it. Alright, that's fine. Do it. Can I get all this built without taking out any loan? Well, I'm going to have to take out a loan for the train, but I want to at least get the track and the road back in without taking any loan. And we'll, we'll see if that works. You don't need to cross overs there. All right, so signaling. Uh, set that up. Let me do another set of signals there. Over here, we're going to want that signaled. And we're going to want that signaled both ways. I think that will work. All right, now, the road back in. Now, the way we're going to get the road back in is probably just demolish this whole road right here because it's kind of unnecessary at this point. We're going to rework it. So that it comes through here and having the the main drag come across an industry is not the best option but it's what we're gonna have to do here okay so that's reconnected and now we need to reconnect this road which for the moment We'll have to rework this at some point, but for the moment, that will work. Okay. Now we're going to take out loan. More loan. Give me a bunch. Because now we need to get trams in for City 17 and for Kazam. to remove a building there and not to remove a building there that should work 
Do you know what I'm going to say? No. Alright, and now we're going to put on tram. Tram, 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 tram. There we are. And some stops. Do it like that. Good. And the depot. All right, lines. It's gonna be City Seventeen A. Oh, tram. I'm still not sure if, how I'm going to do the colors, but for now, we're just going to let it pick the colors automatically. Wait, how are we doing? The A is going to be the clockwise and the B is going to be the counter. Six trams. I did do these as electric, right? Yep, I missed that. Actually, is electric, and the rest of you are on B. Now, the train. How do I want to work this? New line. Use my normal naming convention system, train passenger. I'm gonna call this the um Amali Bay Line. And hopefully know what that is gonna be. Start there, and there, and there, and then back to City 17. And that ought to work. Good. All right, we're gonna need a lot. Nope, no, no, don't, don't directly edit. Just, just 
borrow all the money right now. We need a train. I think we're going to go with the 260 Mogul. It's decently powerful. Decently quick. And it's not like the PLM 220, which only does 37. And I could go with one of these. It's also... But it's, it's expensive. The 10-wheeler... I save a half a million. We're going to go with the Mogul. And for passenger wagons. Wow, we can put Amtrak. Yep, that, that's a mod that doesn't quite work right. So we'll just have to ignore it. Passenger car with clear story. Or clerestory. Um... 16 capacity. Now how fast can this can this train go? 47. So 50 mile an hour passenger coach would be perfectly fine. We'll put four on there. And the thing about these is that they're heavy. These are a lot lighter. Still mediocre. And cheaper. See, 138,000 per year. Yeah, we'll go with this. Buy it. And put it on the line. We have to turn that off. All right. Is the light new? I don't seem to remember that being there. So that's on there. The one other thing we need to do, which I forgot, is this. Just a low brick. Oh, that doesn't look quite right, does it? Yeah, we'll go with that. And 
for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to make you... This tram line will almost certainly have to be edited. You in there, and this is the tram for Kazam. A, which is clockwise, and then tram Kazam B, which is going to be counter. Yeah, we'll go with six. We'll stick uh, stick with the same um, You guys are brown You guys are this darker green Looks good now the train Do I want to colorize the train? Where is it and how does it look? It's not entirely terrible. First real passengers. Six passengers here in Kazap. Let's see, we have rail passengers here. We have Nada over here. But they should hopefully get picked up by the trams and dropped off here shortly. All right. So, I think that's a good uh, place to conclude uh, this episode, is with our first passenger rail line fully operational, and uh, we'll have to see, I'll pay as much of this as I can, and then we'll have to see um, how everything goes as we move forward. All right, so for now, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.